It's a day the 1st Regiment has looked forward to as they approach the chemical, biological, radiological, nuclear exercise, also known as Seaburn. Cadets will only have nine seconds to put on their mask once the signal for gas is given. The purpose of this training is to give the confidence of the cadets that they can trust their gear whenever a Seaburn event occurs. Consistent practice helps cadets respond quickly and correctly to overcome their initial response to freeze up. After completing the allotted time in the chamber, the cadets exit while flapping their arms and blinking to relieve themselves of the gas. For many cadets, they are the first in their family to join the military and are ready to take on new challenges. My name is Abigail Graham. I am 1st Regiment and I am from Texas Tech University. I am the first person in my family to join the Army or the military and there was never an expectation for me to join and so my parents were definitely surprised when I first brought up the idea to them. And then once I joined the program and really started to get to know everything, I kind of fell in love with it. I mean, they always tell you that the Army sucks you in and it definitely does and once I'm in it, I just, I don't want to leave. So I'm ready to go from here and we'll see where, where we go. I'm a big introvert and so having to be around people for 24-7, you know, 30-something-ish days, it was very scary. I was not ready for it, but I've, I really love my platoon. I've developed really strong bonds with a lot of them and so being around them, it, I don't feel like I'm around people 24-7. It's just like family, so. My name is Devika Henry. I'm in 1st Regiment and my school is Marin Military Institute. I joined Army ROTC because I've always loved just like the discipline background because I come from a really disciplined family. I really wanted to work hard and join the military to provide for my family, you know, give back to my country and just be a service. I would say I'm learning how to like be a little bit more expressive and it's okay, like if you fail or mess up something, that is going to continue to cheer you on, be like, oh, it's okay, try to motivate you. As long as you're out here and you're just getting up every day, doing what you got to do, you're already making halfway through the battle.